Salve Maria. Finally, we have reached the last but not the least meditation for the Holy Week. Today, we shall meditate on the final word that were pronounced by Jesus on the cross. So let us now begin our meditation. Heaven, heaven and nothing else but heaven. I know for certainly that all of us desire nothing but heaven. We hope for nothing but heaven where God himself shall be our reward. If you and I were to hear these words at the moment our souls enter eternity, how blessed we shall be. My son, my daughter, come to me, come to my house of everlasting happiness. For you were my faithful son, my faithful daughter on earth, and now I shall be your loving father, your unceasing happiness for all eternity. Now the time had arrived for the departure of Jesus from this earth and his entrance to heaven amidst the glorious praises of angels. But this same moment, far from being sweet and serene, was indeed very challenging and very painful. His physical pains were reaching now to an unbearable situation. This pain was so strong that a mysterious darkness surrounded him, making him feel as if being abandoned by the Eternal Father. The pains of the body started to become unbearable. Little by little, he started to feel difficult in difficulty in breathing. Everything started to indicate that the end is at hand. During that painful moment, his pain started to increase when he saw how the chosen people were adamant in their sinfulness. The attitudes of a great number of those present at that moment showed how hardened their hearts were. But more than that, he even saw how, how many people in the future were about to give little value or even to despise his precious blood. So many souls, in spite of all this suffering, were about to go to hell. How many demons must have surrounded his cross in order to do something to make him suffer more? Everything seemed to indicate that everything was lost. But even though the appearance was such, not even a single thought of despair entered his mind. He offered himself totally with filial love towards the Eternal Father, saying, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. It was the sublime departure of the Son of God from this world to heaven. This is the most perfect example on how a Catholic should face death. Before death, our attitude should not be full of cowardice. We should accept death with all the sufferings that come with it. Nevertheless, to acquire such a spirit, one must be prepared to this final battle which all of us are called to wage. Because in many cases, the final moment is the worst moment in which our souls run great risks and dangers. There is a beautiful prayer known as the litany for a good death. One of his prayers says, When my imagination, agitated by dreadful spectres, shall be sunk in an abyss of anguish. When my soul, afflicted with the sight of iniquities and the terrors of thy judgment, shall have to fight against the angel of darkness who will endure to conceal from my eyes thy mercies and to plunge me into despair. Merciful Jesus, have mercy on me. So let us have no illusions because None of us do not know, do not know the moment of our death. As death comes like a thief, we should be well prepared to accept death at any moment. Meditating about death is one of the best means to prepare for death. It is because many of us tend to forget the reality of the life after death. By this, we may not have any notion of the presence of angels and demons, the existence of heaven and hell during our day-to-day -day life. And this lack of notion creates within us a spirit of lack of vigilance, a lack of desire towards heavenly things. 
Finally, when this takes place within our mind, eventually the demon whispers cunningly within our ears and says, See, now you are so young and, have, and you have so many years to live. Now stop worrying and start enjoying life. It is not required to remind that this enjoyment has nothing to do with virtue. Such a soul may commit sin after sin and without even perceiving how time flies may reach the last moment. If any of us may have the misfortune of falling into such a state, who can guarantee that we may have the strength of soul to repent or change our ways and to fight against the last temptations? St. Joseph Pass said these memorable words in his last moment. Remember that one cannot easily do at the time of death what one has neglected during all his life. So let us take to our hearts these words and set out to prepare ourselves for death by meditating about our final moment. Such a meditation may help us to acquire a horror for sin by reminding us that since we have the possibility of dying at any moment, we must keep our souls preserved from sin so that we may avoid hell and go to heaven. It is for this reason that the book of Sirach says, In all that you do, remember the end of your life, and then you will never sin. Therefore, let us not imitate those Catholics who find nothing other than a sort of a fairy land within the Catholic Church, a fairy land that has no hell, no demons, no judgment, and no sin. We should constantly prepare our souls for the last moments so that we may say like Jesus himself, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Now, as we conclude our meditations on the seven last words of Jesus on the cross, we should remember one thing. Let us keep in mind all the important teachings that were meditated, not only for the season of Lent, but also throughout our lives. By taking advantage of this series of reflections for a true spiritual renewal and to celebrate the upcoming Easter with the greatest devotion and best fruits for our souls. And I also invite all of you to share this video with all your loved ones and to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos. May God bless you. Salve Maria.